It did come with this little sampler. Okay. Jordan's right over here and he's... <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Ellie Brown from Uptown with Ellie Brown and today we're going to be talking about all things microneedling. For the past couple of weeks, microneedling has become this big sensation of being able to do it at home and not having to go to, you know, the spa to getting it done. So last year, it's been a while, last year I bought two different machines. I bought the Glow Pro micro needling tool, and I believe this is the um, eyes and face kit, and it looks like this. And then I also bought, there was a Groupon sale, Groupon deal, whatever you want to call it going on at the time, and I bought the Aura micro needle face and full body roller kit and that looks like this it's a big price difference because the aura right now it's at 85 dollars on one of the websites that i'll link down below and the glow pro is 199 dollars so it's about a hundred dollars of a difference which is pretty big but i bought them both and my idea was to test them out to see if the glow pro was really worth the money does it do the same thing can you accomplish the same result Results. To say that, I guess just to, to say that to say, I really wanted to just kind of really lay out all the different pros and cons or the details of each to really help you make a decision and which one is right for you. So let's first talk about the Glow Pro. Beauty Bio is the name of the brand and the Glow Pro is the name of this little tool here. Like I said, I got the eye and the face kit. I've already used this one several times, so which is like everything is unorganized in here but my little kit which I think is sold at Nordstrom which is where I bought it from I will link everything down below it has the face kit it has the eyes it has a little spritzer bottle that you can put alcohol to sanitize after each use it did come with this little sampler okay. Jordan's right over here and he's it came with this little sampler called the Quench, and I guess this was launching in September 2018. I have not even tried this, actually. It came with the Bright Eyes Illuminator, and these are little um, eye patches to wear afterwards. The Glow Pro is battery operated, but you can also charge it as well, so it came with a charger. It came with these little pads that you're supposed to use before. These little prep pads, I kept one just to share with you guys with what it looks like. And so you're supposed to use, like I said, you're supposed to use these little pads before and then you're supposed to do the microneedling yourself. So like I said, that is the kit in this one. I don't know if all of the kits are like this. Again, this is the face and the eyes that can be used for eyes and lips actually. Um, I know they have a little attachment tool that is specifically just for your lips, but I have been using this for the eyes and lips. Uh, I don't know if I should be, but I am. So we're just gonna go with it. So that is the kit. So to go over a little bit of the spec, on the Glow Pro specifically. So for $199, I believe on the website you get just this tool, just the tool itself. Now the tool over here, you press this little button over here on the back and this pops out and you can swap the little attachments in and out. I know they have an attachment for the body, for the face, for the eyes, the lips, but you just pop this out and switch out the heads. It does come with batteries. I have yet to either change the batteries or even charge this so that's a good sign but you do turn it on it has a little LED and it also does pulse and have vibrations and to that um, according to their website it says that the LED light therapy and the pulse stimulation tech is supposed to activate skin cells enhance cell turnover and stimulate the production of fresh structural proteins. To be honest, I don't know if there's much of a deal breaker in having something that like has a light therapy and also vibrates versus something that just rolls. I don't see much of a difference in that to be honest. Again, personally, my opinion. Now, I will say the difference between the Aura and the Glow Pro, like the Glow Pro is a lot nicer to hold. It fits the hand more comfortably. It feels like it's made a lot better versus the Aura just 
kind of feels plasticky and cheap made if 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 that helps the GoPro is supposed to be used two to three times a week and you are to replace each head uh, three to four months with normal use and I guess the normal use is the two to three times a week and so each of the like I said they had the they have these the little rollers little attachment pieces and all of and let me see if I can get a uh, close-up for you guys of the actual tool if you can see there are tons of little needles that you would be rolling across your face or your eyes or your lips or your body what you're supposed to do you turn it on and you roll up and down horizontally and vertical as well each area you're rolling for about 60 seconds and so the idea with this is you you basically at so I've gotten the micro needling done at a spa as well you actually can bleed from it because of the needle it is injuring your skin and so the idea is you know when you injure your skin and you get a, a cut you know the blood rushes to the area of the skin and it tries to heal the skin you know and the new collagen and that's basically the same idea with this technique renewing itself basically that's the gist of it and then just to talk about each little piece here the body Piece. I don't even know what this little piece is called, but this little piece over here. So you have one for your body, for your face, for your eyes, and for your lips. The body has 1,680 fine needles, and the needles are 0.5 millimeter long, I guess. That's how long it is. So this is a face. This has 540 needles, and it is 0.3 millimeters. The eye attachment has 240 needles, and it is 0.3 millimeters. The lip also has has 240 needles and it is 0.2 millimeters. After you do the microneedling, you are to apply your skincare and you are supposed to do this at night. My nose is itching. But after doing the microneedling, it is supposed to enhance and allow the skincare products to absorb up to 200 times more. That is what they claim. I did that. I'm just relaying that information. Like, don't hold that like don't come at me with that so basically that's the gist of the GoPro now on to the aura this is just so you can kind of get a little bit more idea of the different so this is what the aura piece looks like you've got the face the eyes lips the body and then this is a little stamp that they have so this is just an idea of what probably the GoPro, I haven't actually seen the GoPro, but this is probably about the size of what the, the body one from the GoPro would look like. You get all of this for $85. There's this little container piece here that this is where you would put the alcohol to sanitize after each use. And this one, like I said, I do personally like the GoPro overall a whole lot better. I feel like this one just feels a little bit cheap. It feels very just plastic plasticky, whatever, however you want to call it. And then to take this out, it's, it's a little bit harder to, to take this out. And then the other thing that I don't like is, so for example, the GoPro, it has this case to protect the actual roller versus the Aura is just open. And so kind of take it out is a little bit hard if I can actually get it out. There it goes. So you just pop it out like that and you replace each piece as you want. You kind of, oh, you have to actually twist and then turn. So you have to pop it in there, twist, and then lock. And so this is the, the eye slash lips. The difference between the needles versus the, the Aura versus the Glow Pro. So the body has 1200 needles and it is one millimeter. The face has 600 needles and it is 0.5 millimeters. The eye slash lips, which is this one, has 240 needles and it is 0.255 millimeters. The Aura has this little stamp and it has 12 needles and it is 0.1 millimeter so i'm gonna get an up close here for you guys to see so you can kind of see that right there this little stamp is really for any delicate areas around your eyes and maybe around your lips and the idea instead of rolling this you are stamping it really that's the gist of the difference between the aura and the glow pro there's really not much of a difference i think other than the actual tool itself and then the needles in some of the rollers are 
or you know some have a little bit more and I feel like the Aura their needles are a little bit longer which I don't know if it's necessarily a good or a bad thing the Aura online it does recommend to use three to five days versus the Glow Pro is two to three times a week the other thing is that I did want to mention according to the Glow Pro and I think that this is something you need to you know consult with your doctor is that the difference in using something like this at home versus going to a salon or to a spa at the spa your face does have to be numbed. I actually have a vlog of the procedure and what getting a microneedling done at the spa looks like. I'll link it here for you guys if you want to go check that out. This you don't have to numb. According to GoPro, it is safe to be pregnant or if you're nursing, you can use this. My personal opinion, if I had to choose, I would actually buy the GoPro. I just, again, I feel like I like the machine, the actual device a whole lot better. I think it's just easier to grip. But yeah, that's my thoughts. And then I actually wanted to share with you guys and show it in action for you guys to see what it looks like. Let's try the Glow Pro out. So my face is clean. I already got a shower, wiped off all the makeup. So I have the face attachment on and you can see the little light and it does gently vibrate and I'm just gonna go over my skin. Light pressure. You don't need to go, you don't need to press deep or anything. It's not comfortable but it's not painful. And so the idea with doing a microneedling at home, it isn't supposed to improve the skin texture, appearance of pores, fine lines as well, wrinkles. I will say I have seen a huge difference in actually getting the microneedling done at the salon. There is a little bit of downtime with going to the salon versus something like this at home. Oh, the forehead is always where it hurts the most for me. And I always, always, always sneeze. So as you can see, my face is just a little bit more flushed. It's not bleeding. There isn't anything really major going on. I probably would not recommend you doing this and then like applying makeup just because I don't think you want that oil and all of that sitting on your skin. Do do this after you cleanse your face and go to bed, allow your skin to just heal itself and allow those skin cell turnovers to work its magic. But I replaced the headpiece with the eyes and the lips and so now I'm just gonna go over my eyes here. apply my serum and as you can see my face is just a little bit more red and that's okay that will go that will go down in the morning I will wake up almost as if I never did anything and then I'm going to apply my night oil I'm all done well guys, I hope you enjoyed this review and I would love to hear your thoughts. Comment below, do you have the GoPro? Do you have the Aura? Have you tried a microneedling at home? Comment below your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Thumbs up if you like this video. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you guys here again soon. Bye.